Welcome to the reveal. Huge shout out to our winners, Paige Wilson and Caitlin Gilbreth. Also, Sarah Hill did help in this puzzle as well. To get right to it, the very first part is what am I? And I was an owl. I was speaking in kind of a code, but giving you trigger words that when I said that word, that's what that um, shape, I guess you could say, meant. So here is the grid that y'all saw. And then here is what it should look like after you put the images where the words are. Now, this is the image I actually used based on, you know, what shapes I needed to build that image for you guys. So that was the main thing was once you created the image, you would have known that it was an owl. But I also gave you clues within um, the rhyming, like you're dead in my grips before you see me. I'm powerful yet sneaky. You're dead in my grips before you see me. I symbolize strength but in an unconventional way. That can go both ways because the owl symbolizes wisdom as well as femininity, and it actually represents Athena. So, you know, the power of women and the power of wisdom is an unconventional strength. And then it goes to talk about um, the strength that goes unnoticed, but is still the most powerful today. The same, you know, play on that. And then start talking about the moonlights where I thrive, because that's mostly when they hunt. They are nocturnal. Um, if I see you and I want you, you will not survive, because good luck, little mouse, you know. Basically, you know, they they see you way before you see them. I even make a reference about um, put these together and what I am, you will win. I hope this was simple and didn't make your head spin. They can spin their head at almost like 180, maybe even past 180 degrees, like crazy. So that was also a play on owls. So once you figured out that I was an owl, you move on to the next part. And the next part is my name. You'll notice that it is a seemingly random set of clips pausing every once in a while with a black screen. That is each set of clips before a pause is a letter. And I give you the first letter. So once you solve everything, basically up is up. When I do the blanket up, that's up. When I do it down, it's down. This is diagonal right, diagonal left, or it's probably opposite now, you know, type thing. And I gave you the key, but the only things missing were right and left. So you had to figure out what pattern within those clips what I have used to have you go right or left, and I used animal facts. So you would take the animal facts, figure out which ones were false and which ones were true. The true ones were symbolizing the direction right, and the wrong ones were symbolizing the direction left. So when you had your key, you would put it together. Now, it is, the reason why I have the phone ringing is because on a phone keyboard, if you start at G and you follow those directional patterns, it will lead you to every letter. Every pause means, okay, so the first one is just a directional right, or it might be this to y'all, and then it pauses. That means when you go directional right, you're on Y, that's your first letter. Let's move on. And then it might go down, oh, left, left, right, right, directional, down, pause. So that means at the end of that sequence, that was the other letter. So once you did all that, you got my name, which I can't even pronounce or spell off the top of my head. I think it's G-Y-N-A-I-K-A. -A, and it's actually the word woman in Greek. So that leads us to the third part. The third part is where you'll find me, which is always basically, you guys know, it's going to be a Facebook page, it's going to be an email, it's going to be something. The puzzles always tell you where to find us. So I talk about being cocky, I talk about loving my name, you know, I am vain, I am this, I am that. The email was I am my name at gmail.com. Y'all did so amazing per usual. I love these puzzles because, you know, they might be confusing, but it gives me a chance to interact and give kind of hints along the way. I actually prefer these longer puzzles than just the, you know, 30 minute ones to where I'm not able to interact as much. You guys got another puzzle coming today. It's going to be at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong on that, 
I'll put it, the correct will be in the description above or description below, depending on where you're at. The puzzle will be called Adventure Time, and it is a Joseph Wade puzzle. So I'm super excited about it. I know y'all are super excited about it. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I will see you then. Peace.